Hello! So today I'm going to do a Top 5 Wednesday video and I'm going to do the Top 5 Podcasts that I really like. This was an incredibly difficult video to make. In fact, you can see from my list that I wrote the five and then I put a bunch of honorable mentions because it turns out that I like all of my podcasts a lot and it's very difficult for me to come up with a Top 5, but I'm gonna try right now for you. So number five is Hour of the Wolf. Uh, this is a podcast actually made by some people that I know. It is a role-playing podcast. They're playing a tabletop RPG. Think of like Dungeons and Dragons, but they're playing in a completely original world uh, using not a D20 system, which is what Dungeons and Dragons is, uh, but a system based on a system used in Dresden Files. Uh, but the world is created uniquely. Hour of the Wolf is about a post-apocalyptic world where all of the old gods and monsters have risen up to fight this invading evil and sort of save what is left of humanity. And so the characters are playing things like Anubis, the god of the dead, Medusa, uh, all of the old gods like Odin, Thor, Hercules, all of the heroes and mythological creatures and all that kind of stuff have come like risen up from where they were hiding to fight. And it's just brilliantly done. Warnings for language, but it's so funny and it keeps me entertained week to week. And I'm just always so anxious to find out what happened and what's going on next. Number four is Pod Save America. This podcast will probably get higher on this list, but I've only listened to three episodes, so I can't really be like, yeah, it's amazing. I don't know why I missed this boat when Pod Save America started, but clearly, I should have been listening from the beginning. Uh, this is a podcast of people who used to work in the White House during Obama's administration, who now talk weekly about what's going on in politics, what's going on in the White House, what's going on with our government. They are brilliant, they are funny, they are liberal and democratic, so if you don't like those things, don't listen. But they do a great job of not only looking at what's happening, but looking at it from both sides. Uh, they'll stand up for the politicians when they can tell like that there's a reason and it's just brilliantly done it's clever it's entertaining and it's informative and those are the things i really like in a podcast number three is within the wires uh this is part of the night veil vale presents network i like most of the night veil vale presents shows including welcome to night veil vale, which is the original but within the wires is definitely my favorite uh, the cool thing about Within the Wires is it's had two seasons so far and each of them were very different, but it's basically audio recordings. I like the click of the tape that doesn't actually exist. Uh, I also really like the story it's telling of this world or society where people decided that families and countries were what was causing the conflict. So they just eliminated any sort of connection or loyalty like that. So people no longer have families. You don't have siblings, you don't have parents. There's no allegiance to countries or anything like that. And things seem a little more structured in their world. And you had two different explorations, like between the first season and the second season. And I love the narrative style. I love the voices that they use. And I think it's just a brilliantly done little show. And it's cool because it's shorter. Uh, it's nice that it's just like 30 minutes roughly usually about 20 minutes that I can just absorb. That's good for me because that's about my drive to work. Number two is Script Notes. So Script Notes is these two guys who are screenwriters in LA and they do a podcast about screenwriting. And it's brilliant. Like it's just really, really, really good. They talk about a lot of interesting things. I'm not a screenwriter myself, but a lot of the things they talk about would actually like fall under regular writing stuff. Also for me, it's very, very interesting to hear about the movie industry. Clearly, in case you can't tell from the ridiculous amount of movies that I go see, especially now that I've gotten movie pass, I'm fascinated by the movie industry. And it's interesting to hear interviews with creators and screenwriters about what they're doing and how they create the movie. It's also interesting to look at trends. They also talk about things that happened before and how things are coming back about tropes that are used and why they're used. And one of my favorite segments is how would this be a movie where they take news headlines and then they talk about what would be turned into a film. And there are several that I have found very interesting, including these guys who created a porn company 
posted their porn on Pirates Bay and then sued Pirates Bay for illegally hosting their porn. What? Uh, I mean, they got caught, but it would make a brilliant film. And so I really like that sort of aspect, especially because it gets my creative brain going too. And I'll be like, oh my gosh, but this would be interesting. And I can imagine this as a film and it would be really cinematic. I should really learn how to actually write uh, screenplays because it would probably be an interesting thing for me. And number one, okay, this was cheating. Oh, it was definitely cheating, but I'm not sorry. Number one is the Escape Artists podcasts. Those would be Escape Pod, Pseudopod, Podcastle, and Cast of Wonders. Yeah, I just put four podcasts in number one, but you know what? It's because they deserve to just all be together. So Escape Artists is this group that puts out narrative fiction podcasts. So people write stories, they submitted them to Escape Artists podcasts, and then if it's sci-fi, it goes on Escape Pod. If it's fantasy, it goes on Podcastle. If it's horror, it goes on Pseudopod. If it's young adult, it goes on Cast of Wonders. They have narrators who narrate these. And it's usually stories that are between 15 and 50 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer if you get the bigger, longer stories. And it's just fun. I love hearing different fiction written by different people about all sorts of different things. The greatest thing about these is that I often find stories that I think other people would appreciate, so I'll share them with like my mother or my friends, and it's nice to have stories bringing people together. It's also cool to hear recurring authors and recurring narrators and also make connections. For example, uh, the teacher who taught me creative writing when I was in college, her name is Karen Bovenmeyer. She just released her first novel. I'm going to put a link to it down there because I don't know, I'm in the mood for that. But she works with escape artists and narrates for them. And I was just listening to the podcast and I was like, oh my goodness, I know this woman, I know this voice. So it's cool, those sort of connections. But that's absolutely my number one. Uh, I'm going to throw an honorable mention to the This Week in Marvel podcast, but that's just because I'm a fangirl. It's a good podcast, but it definitely is only for people who are like, yes, Marvel. Uh, because it's usually an hour and 45 minutes long, which is pretty lengthy. Maybe not for most people, but certainly lengthy if it's not something you're terribly into. So those are the top five podcasts that I really like. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you listen to other podcasts, please let me know in the comments. I'd be interested in what you listen to or what you would recommend. I am going to put links to all of these podcasts down in the description so that you can check them out for yourself. I'll see you tomorrow.